Hey, this is John from Heroes and Legends. Today we have an Aether Revolt pre-release pack to open up. I actually got a couple of these, so I'm going to open one today and open one probably a little bit later in the week. But uh, since this is the first one that we are opening on the channel, uh, I'm going to take a little extra time to show you what the contents are in case you didn't get to go to the pre-release and you're not familiar with this product. Basically, this isn't a product that you can purchase necessarily, like you're not going to find this at your Walmart or something like that. Uh, this is a product that goes to local game stores really with the intent for the pre-release weekend. And other than that, I mean, sometimes stores have extras and they'll sell a few here and there uh, if they didn't use them. But for the most part, that's really the only place you're gonna see these. Uh, so we'll open it up. And if you're familiar with the Kaladesh one, it looks similar. It has this kind of press to open button on the side there. And this one's actually torn up. Like that's kind of interesting. This was sealed in cellophane. Um, but yeah, it's definitely had some sort of production issue. I think it might have been in shipping though, because the side was crunched a little bit. So this maybe got torn when it got pushed or something. Looks like the contents are okay. Like the packs look fine, but uh, there you go. <laughs> so in here, you're gonna find, first off your spin down die, we got a red one. Typically these come in five colors. So it's kind of red with blue speckles. And uh, this of course is the Ether Revolt symbol. You'll see that there. Uh, the box itself kind of doubles as a deck box and a holder for like your dice and stuff. Um, but obviously, like I said, if you got this one at your pre-release, um, I don't know how secure that would be, but there you go. <laughs> Again, I think that was more done in shipping from what it looks like anyway. I don't think it was like made like that. Okay, let's see what we have here. Attention citizens. Uh, so what's really nice about these packs too is they, they go a little extra with some of the lore and just some of the fun stuff in them. So you'll ha you have that here. On the other side, you have at least some starting pointers to building a sealed deck, which is kind of nice. What else did we get? We got our sticker, the Ether Revolt kind of revolution sign symbol. Get a uh, deck holder, or a, I should say a uh, card placeholder. So if you, for example, have your deck and your sideboard, you want to keep them separate or something like that. Uh, they, these are actually really nice, like really well done. So it's actually pretty cool. All right, I didn't see this when we opened it this time, so there you go. <laughs> you get one date stamped foil rare or mythic rare. Let's see what ours is. It's a quicksmith rebel. Wah, wah. Okay, <laughs> so there you go. And there's the date stamp there. We have another one of these to open, so hopefully we'll have a little better luck. And then of course you have your packs of, two packs of Kaladesh, four packs of E3 Volt. So let's open these up, see what we get. Uh, we'll start with the Kaladesh packs, cause hey, why not? <laughs> so, Kaladesh. Maybe we'll hit a Sahili. <laughs> it's always a chance of getting inventions, of course, in any of these packs, which is awesome. And uh, of course, I'll go kind of quick through here because you've all seen probably more than you uh, <laughs> would like of Kaladesh at this point. Um, Iron League Steed, Trusty Companion, Snare Thopter, and our rare is a Territorial Gorger. Okay, there you go. So of course, when you build these pre-release decks, you're allowed to use all the cards from your card pool, as well as that uh, foil stamp card that we saw. That's also a card you can use in your deck building. All right, here's our second and last pack of Kaladesh. And we start off with an Iron League Steed, Era of Innovation, Air Pure Guide, and our rare. Is an Insidious Will? That's not too bad. Actually a pretty cool card. And we got a foil in this pack too. It's a Renegade Tactics. Okay, so there you go. All right, we move on to the new stuff. Ether Revolt. So of course we got four packs of this. Um, I mean, some of the notable pulls at this point anyway, as I'm filming this, are things like Heart of Kieran is probably the biggest card right now. I mean, the two Planeswalkers are pretty cool, although they're not really too hot right now, but I mean, it's always cool to pull a Planeswalker. And they have potential going forward for sure. Uh, we have a Treasure Keep, Gifted Aetherborn, Hidden Stockpile, and our rare is a Paya's Revolution. Okay. Uh, a couple other notable pulls. Fatal Push, right now, at least the time of recording, is like a $5 uncommon. I mean, <laughs> that will go down, obviously, as more and more packs are open. 
There are a lot of people out there saying that they feel like they're not seeing a lot of fatal pushes in their packs, that it feels more like a rare than an uncommon. And it is possible sometimes there is an uncommon that sits in a weird spot on the sheet that it's a little uh, less easy to get than other uncommons. That's very possible and it could be fatal push, but the booster box we opened had four fatal pushes in it, so I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, fast engineer, felt our guardian. Piece of the uh, pretty talked about combo right now in standard servo schematic and our rare. It's a quicksmith spy. Good card for limited for sure. All right. Two packs to go. down to the uncommons here. All right, we have Aeronaut Admiral, Perilous Predicament, Monstrous Onslaught, and our rare is a Consulate Crackdown. All right, last pack. I mean, no, no big pulls right at this point. I mean, not even a fatal push. <laughs> so, Walking Ballista, of course, being another one of the big pulls you could get. Uh, I don't know. This, so far, not seen a lot of good stuff out of this pre-release pack. <laughs> Be nice to get like one mythic out of six packs. I mean, granted, you're definitely not guaranteed that or anything, but all right, we got a Foundry Hornet, Life Crafter's Gift, Reverse Engineer, and a rare. That's that's decent pull. Ether Spear Harvester. Now, uh, this card saw standard play week one. I think it will continue to see standard play great against certain matchups. So definitely good against uh, things like aggro decks on the sideboard and stuff, if nothing else. Uh, but yeah, it's like a five dollar card at the time we're recording anyway. All right could change by the time I post this. So, having said that, that's the pre-release pack. Like I said, I have another one I'm gonna open later on. I'll probably go a little quicker through it, just open the packs fast, but uh, at least you have an idea of what this product's all about. If you happen to see one of these in your LGS, you can decide whether you wanna pick it up or not. I think it's really fun if you and a friend, like each can get your hands on one and play with your own card pools. It's kinda cool. I mean, it's really no different than playing with six packs, right? But you do get the foil day stamp rare, which is, Kind of neat you could get some nice pulls with that too so it's just kind of extra kind of level of fun of course don't overpay for that <laughs> but if it's cheaper to buy the six packs i'd probably buy the six packs but still i think that's really the only reason at this point you probably want to pick up this product having said that hey thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.